Wikipedia is the world's most consulted source of health information. If you have health information to share, and it's the sort of information which Wikipedia publishes, and if you're willing to comply with Wikipedia community guidelines for editing the encyclopedia, then consider whether it would be efficient and useful for you to distribute your information by integrating it into Wikipedia so that the audience that's already coming to Wikipedia can find it there and use it. My name's Lane Raspberry. I'm going to give an overview of sharing health information on Wikipedia. So, uh, Wikipedia, it's the cat's meow for health information. It's the world's most popular, requested, consulted, accessed source of health information in the world in this talk. I'm going to talk about how Wikipedia science content is curated, it's particularly health science content, say something about who it is that's reviewing and doing quality control on Wikipedia, and say something about the audience of people who read and use Wikipedia. When people think of Wikipedia, there's two things that come to mind. One is the quality of Wikipedia. Perhaps you've heard that Wikipedia is an online encyclopedia, and the gimmick with it is that anyone can edit any Wikipedia article at any time. I'm not going to defend the quality of Wikipedia. I, I happen to think that the quality of Wikipedia's health content is good as compared to anything else that people can find on the internet, but it's true that compared with other health information resources, Wikipedia's quality is variable. It takes some judgment to understand uh, when is Wikipedia's quality more reliable than other times. So I'm just going to say Wikipedia's content, including health content, it's, it's dubious. There's a quality control system in place. But what you've heard, the criticism you've heard about Wikipedia's quality, it's to be considered. Another aspect of Wikipedia, though, that I think is also important is that it's an excellent information delivery system. It's got a huge audience, and when balancing the, the quality of information in the audience, it's uh, Wikipedia's value is that it delivers good information to a lot of people. That's in comparison to the competition, which has high quality information that nobody reads. So uh, it would be nice if there could be some exchange between the high quality sources that are very unpopular and Wikipedia of dubious quality, which is extremely popular. So I, I've got to say this. It's not something that I want to focus on in, in this talk. But how does Wikipedia work? Wikipedia is an encyclopedia. The articles are called pages, or you could say articles in Wikipedia. At the top of every article, there's some, some buttons. Uh, among the buttons is one that says edit. If someone clicks that edit button, then they can change whatever they like in a given Wikipedia article. The text, the data, the images, the pictures, the citations, whatever they like. And, uh, strange about Wikipedia as compared to many other websites, one does not even need a Wikipedia account to edit a page. So, for example, to make a post on Facebook, someone needs to log into a Facebook account, or to set up a blog, one needs to register a blog and have an account, set up a website, to publish something. To make changes to publish on Wikipedia, one does not even need an account. You don't have to register with your name, you don't have to register with an email address, you just click the edit button, you start editing. So, that's who writes Wikipedia, whoever shows up and clicks the edit button. Uh, this quality control process on Wikipedia for letting anyone step up and edit Wikipedia, you could say that the, the system of publishing and the system of quality control, it's in its infancy. It's something new. There's not a, a lot of sociological research on the extent to which that it happens. Or actually, there's a lot of research, but it's going to take a, a generation or so to come to understand what it means to allow anyone to edit. So I'm acknowledging all the fears and criticism that have been published about Wikipedia. This is really how it works. Anyone can edit Wikipedia. This is this is what we're talking about. This is what we're doing. Uh, but the 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 attractive part of Wikipedia, I would say, is not so much the way that we let anyone edit it. It's more that it's been been blessed been blessed by by Google. If someone searches for a disease, a medical condition, a drug, a treatment, a therapy, starts typing in health terms to any search engine, any search engine is <laughs> Google or or Bing, then both of those search engines have directed people for many years to go to Wikipedia to get answers to whatever they're searching for. So Google has something called search engine, a search engine results page. It's ranked 
uh, advice on where to go for the health information. Wikipedia is frequently the top ranked website that it, to which it directs users for their health, health queries. If it's not in the, the top ranked website, it's in the top three. If it's not in the top three, it's, it's always in the top, the front page of, of what Google tells people to go for health information. So because of Google, Wikipedia is extremely popular. There's a large audience congregating, going to Wikipedia to consume this health information. It's not that we, people are going to Wikipedia saying, I'd like to get my health information from Wikipedia. It's just that uh, Wikipedia, among all other websites, it's chosen by Google to be very popular. So if I were a health educator and I had information to share, and I were considering, should I invest my time in putting my information into Wikipedia so that I could get this information to the audience that I'd like to reach, then something that I would suggest to any health educator or any anyone distributing health information, uh, I would suggest that they check Wikipedia's traffic, check the traffic to a Wikipedia article in your field of interest or your field of expertise or the field in which you're distributing health information. So say, for example, you wanted to share something about EKG, ECG, and uh, electrocardiography. Uh, electrocardiography is a common medical procedure. Plenty of people have something to say about this. If anyone wanted to check the traffic to this article, at the top of the Wikipedia article, there's a button that says history. Click the button that says history to see the history of all the people who have visited that article, and then click a button that says page view statistics. If you click page view statistics, you'll see a chart like this, which shows the traffic to that Wikipedia article in any given day. It's not actually traffic. It's not actually unique viewers. It's the, the number of page views, the number of times that this Wikipedia article has been requested, published, accessed, consulted in a given day, in a given month. So here we're looking at April 2015, electrocardiography. It's been viewed 58,000 times. It's one of Wikipedia's most popular articles. So among Wikipedia's most popular articles, it's a range of, of health topics. So Wikipedia is a very popular website. And then the health content on Wikipedia is among its most popular content. If I were interested in the topic of electrocardiography, then I would check this history page and say it's 58,000 people per month worth my time. And this is different from a, a news feed or something in a newspaper or a journal, because if someone's subscribing to a publication and it mentions a topic like ECG, then one can't expect that every one of the subscribers to that publication or news feed is actually interested in this topic. But not only is this a large number, but it's also a highly relevant audience because it's fairly certain that all, all of these requests for this information has been by a person who has just come out of their search engine. They've just searched for ECG. And so five seconds before they've come to this Wikipedia page, they said, I'd like to read about this topic. This is in response to a request. This is a hot lead on someone who really wants this information. So huge numbers plus highly relevant numbers. It's, it's, it's nice. This is nice. So Wikipedia seems like it's, it's very popular. I'm, I'm throwing up this, this very dubious chart here. It's the best data that, that I have. It's not uh, statistically rigorous. It, this hasn't been published in a scientific journal, but this is what I have to deal with. So this is an amalgamation of information from Comscore and Alexa. So I've got kind of this <laughs> uh, these bars that show popularity, and I give Wikipedia a big bar. And some other websites, they have small bars because they're less popular. And what this is supposed to represent is the relative popularity of Wikipedia as a health information resource as compared to the other leading providers of health information. So according to this 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 dubious looking graph that I haven't that's not properly labeled, Wikipedia is more popular than NIH. The reason why NIH, National Institutes of Health, is popular is because of PubMed, access to uh, medical academic literature. So that's not something that's really reaching layman audiences and the kind of people who would go to PubMed, they, they may not necessarily be the kind of people who would start a, a search engine and go to Wikipedia. WebMD, that is competing with Wikipedia for Google search rank. So this is a commercial website based in the United States. They serve health information and advertisements to buy drugs that they would like for patients to request of their doctors 
and uh, they'd like for doctors to give patients more drugs without indication is what they'd like. And then Mayo Clinic, very very rep reputable organization, shares health information, lovely. Small bar compared to Wikipedia. National Health Service in the UK, World Health Organization, up to date. Other good source of information, Wikipedia is more popular. Uh, so there's all these competitors in the marketplace for serving up health information to people who request it. You might be surprised when I say that Wikipedia is a very popular source of information. Wikipedia has been around since 2001. It's not widely recognized to be a popular source of information on any topic, much less health, where health is a, a competitive marketplace for uh, people's eyes. There's a lot of people who'd like to give health information. Why isn't Wikipedia more recognized as being as popular as it is? If Wikipedia is so popular, why haven't more people invested in the development of Wikipedia's content, either to distribute their own good health information through Wikipedia or just to make Wikipedia more uh, accurate, considering that it's so popular and it's such an efficient way to deliver health information? We The world still hasn't caught up to the idea of digital communication, digital publishing. There's still a lot of people struggling, competing with each other, imagining that when they make a website then their website has a chance of becoming the most popular in the world and uh, receiving the land share of, of funding and resources for developing whatever their field of expertise is. Wikipedia is kind of a catch-all. It covers absolutely every topic in the world that would be covered in a reference work, in an encyclopedia. Its health information is, is much more broad than any other website that might specialize in say one disease, one treatment, one medical condition. Uh, it's it's just not playing the same game as anyone else. Time will tell what, what happens with Wikipedia in the future. About curation of Wikipedia. So one, Wikipedia is curated. A lot of people have the misunderstanding that because anyone can edit Wikipedia, then that it's chaos or anarchy or maybe a democracy about the kind of information that it could share. Uh, two, I would say that not only does Wikipedia have a system of quality control, but it's a quite good system of quality control. Everything that's added to Wikipedia is checked by human eyes and not just a pair of human eyes, several pairs of human eyes. It's going to happen in different uh, work processes. I'm not going to explain them all, but one that I'm going to mention right now is the concept of a wiki project. A wiki project is a community of Wikipedians that volunteer to oversee Wikipedia's articles in a particular field. So, for example, there's something called Wiki Project Medicine. This is a community that checks every edit made to every health article on Wikipedia. There's about 20,000 health articles. There's a grading system. It would be difficult to explain that also, but about 2,000 of the 20,000 articles in health that Wikipedia has, they're considered pretty good by Wiki Project Medicine. And the ones that don't have this grade, it's, it's usually because they're kind of a more obscure topic or maybe there hasn't been more review. Ideally, all 20,000 of these articles, or let's say 10,000 of them, would be as, as good as they could be and really represent uh, the, the best health information available. That's the goal of Wikipedia, to perfect the delivery of all health information that can be completely up to date. I'm not sure how long it would be, it would take, but that that's the ambition. That's what we're we're going for on Wikipedia. the The standard that Wikipedia is trying to achieve in its health information is the standard of medical literature and academia, perhaps something comparable to a systematic review, except written in layman's terms and integrated with some sociological and cultural concepts. When Wikipedia covers health information, it gets the medical aspect of it from academic literature or statements from professional medical societies that have expertise and recognition of authority in a given field. And then it might get other information, like what's the cultural impact of something. Perhaps that could come from magazines or books or newspapers. So uh, there's this integration of, of what's scientific and then what's cultural it congregates in the Wikipedia article. Uh, as an example of uh, what Wikipedia strives for, in the case of the Wikipedia article on dengue fever, some Wikipedians actually took the Wikipedia article and submitted it to an academic journal that would review it through traditional peer review process. That academic journal found no fault with it. It said nothing prohibits it from being published. It, it, it published it. So 
that's just a model of what Wikipedia seeks. If there's health information on Wikipedia, the community would like it to pass any kind of peer review in the sciences uh, for, for, for quality, accuracy, scope of coverage, making sure that uh, everything is addressed with due weight as uh, would be reflected in the academic literature. When something's reviewed on Wikipedia, there's a lot of conversation behind Wikipedia articles. Hard to explain also, but for dengue fever, for example, if someone were to print that article out on paper, it would be about 10 printed paper pages. But behind that ar Wikipedia article, there's 50 pages of discussion to talk about what what's the best way to present this, this concept on Wikipedia. There's other articles like HIV and AIDS, which is a more controversial social topic, more controversial in the sciences as well. Not certain how someone should review a concept like that, but there's a Wikipedia article on HIV AIDS. If it were printed out on paper, it also would be about 10 printed pages. But behind that Wikipedia article, there's more than a thousand pages of discussion of the best way to present this on Wikipedia. This is not a discussion about the concept of HIV and AIDS. If anyone wants to talk about HIV or AIDS on the discussion page for Wikipedia, then that comment is deleted. The only kind of comments and, and discussion that can happen is conversation about the development of the Wikipedia article. So there's the Wikipedia article. Behind every Wikipedia article, there's a discussion page where people talk about developing the article. There's a huge amount of discussion behind a lot of these health articles. And I cite this as an example of the kind of quality control that Wikipedia does. This isn't all the quality control, but the, the text discussion, that's, that's a lot of it. I wanted to suggest to you that if there's ever any conversation about a topic on, on Wikipedia, then that's usually a reflection of the interest of that topic in the internet and society in the larger world. And when a Wikipedia article exists and when it's developed and when it looks nice, it's not unlikely that the content within that Wikipedia article will be read by people who are looking for a summary of the topic, perhaps to talk about it with their friends, perhaps it could be patients wanting to talk about the topic with their doctor, or families wanted to talk together with a, with a patient. If someone, someone in a family has a medical condition, the family wants to talk with them. Somebody in the family reads Wikipedia, they have conversations among each other about what it means to have the medical condition or get the treatment or take the drug or whatever else. If a journalist wants to talk about a health issue, it's not uncommon for the journalist to read the Wikipedia article to get an overview of the topic before writing their own piece. So what I'm saying is that when someone contributes to a Wikipedia article, they're not just contributing to the Wikipedia article so that Wikipedia's content can be developed. They're contributing to the global conversation about that topic. Because like a slippery little kitten in a box you put it you put it in a box but it, it's going to wander around it's going to end up somewhere that you you don't expect it to be and in the same way when you put information in wikipedia wikipedia is not the final place where that information is going to rest people are going to take it remix it reuse it you'll see it in places that you didn't expect if you have any questions about wikipedia and health information well one you can go ask on wikipedia perhaps visit wiki project medicine but if you like you're welcome to write me my name's Lane Raspberry. Write me at lane at blueraspberry.com. I work at an organization called Consumer Reports. You can email me at work. Lane, uh, L Raspberry at consumer.org. Thank you very much. Happy, happy editing Wikipedia.